Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video I'm going to go over how to draw an arc on the action display. There is no arc command, so I'm just going to go over a little trick I kind of came up with based upon a viewer comment. I really wasn't, I thought I had an easy answer. Well, I'll just go get the command and draw an arc and show them, but uh, it didn't quite work out that way. And I, I don't know that I'd ever used this, but this is kind of what I came up with for just having a little bit of fun. I believe this should work with any display, starting from the basic all the way up to the intelligent. I'm going to start by adding a couple of number fields. And these fields are going to represent the X and Y axis of the beginning of a line. So when you draw a line, you have to define the X across and then the Y down, and then you go to the next point. And my next two number fields I'm going to add are going to, have, are going to show that other, the destination X and Y coordinates. And so these will be my initial ones over here, and then we'll draw a line to these, these two points over here. Now when we initialize the page, we're going to set these variables. And I've just chosen random numbers. I tried to keep them below the numbers themselves so that you can see the line. But we're going to start at over 175, down 150, and we're going to go over to 275. We're not going to count 275. We start back from this corner. So we'll go over to the 275 point down 280. Now we're going to add a button so that we execute that, um, that line. So in this button, we'll add an event. And I always do my events on the release. If you go back a video, you'll see where I go over how to draw a line. I'm going to run this in debug now just to make sure I got everything right. Here's where the editor can knock me if he wants. And you can see, you just draw, draw a line. It's pretty simple. Now, if you want a circle or a rectangle, like I said in the previous video, I show how to draw a line, a circle, and a rectangle. Now, we're going to use lines to draw this arc. And if you think of an arc instead of it as a circle, because it would be a nice flowing thing, but in a display, it just draws pixels. And the way an arc would begin if we draw it from up here to down here, it would first go over more and down a little less. And then slowly as it works its way around, it'll go over less and down more. And hopefully this will make sense as I go into it. I just thought maybe visually you'd see this like this. This goes down the exact same amount almost that it goes over. We're just going to have it go over and down a bit, and then over a little less and down a little bit more, and slowly work our way around. I'm going to add two more number fields. And N4 here is going to show the change of X. And N5 is going to show the change of Y. And I'm going to change a little bit how I load the values at the, at the beginning. So I'll click on the background to bring up the page and where I was loading those values. Now instead, we're going to set all four of these to the same. Well, the X is to the same and the Y is to the same. And then we're going to show our change down here. So we're going to start at this 175, over 175, and down 150. And then the first line we're going to draw is we're going to draw from that point. We're going to add 15 to it on our x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. Then the next time we're going to add 14 and 2, and we're going to add 13 and 3. So we'll have to add this change to our draw button. So every time we hit the draw button, we'll draw a little bit of the arc. I'm going to do it this way instead of drawing it all at once, just so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so we're going to copy the old x value into the new x value, or I guess I should say the new x value into the old x value. And then here we're going to copy the new y value back to the old y value. And then after we've copied those values, then we're going to add we're going to add to the destination value. So in this case, we're going to add n4, and we're going to add n5 to these two values. So we'll draw from the old point to the new point. And then we're going to change n4 and n5. So the next time around, it will do something different. So we're going to subtract from n4, and we're going to add to n5. So when I draw the first line, it just drew it 15 across. 
So it went from 175 to 190 and 150 to 150. Then when I draw it again, we're going to go across 14 and only down one. And so on. And you can see what the next point is going to be down here. So I'm going to hit draw a few times and you'll see it form. It gives it a nice arc that way. And in this way, you can draw an arc. And then from there, you can just change the way you add things here. I'll show you this. So N5 is the value going down. So if I add quicker to it, it'll go down quicker. So if I take this N5, and instead of adding 1 to it every time I add 5 to it, you'll see what happens. See how it went up by 5? Now the first line is always the same. You can see that it drops quicker. So based upon different variables and adding and subtracting, So based upon these changes down here, you can make the arc change faster or slower on one dimension, the x or the y axis. And then up here, by adding or subtracting, if I subtract up here instead, I'm going to set this back to plus plus. Now we're adding one. We're drawing that initial arc again, but we're going to subtract from the y axis instead. You can see we're drawing the arc the other way. So that's just a way to draw an arc on the next display. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.